So in this week's video, um, I'm not decluttering too, too much because we have some big stuff going on. This is our sectional of over 13 years, right Lumpy? So many snuggles and sleepovers. The junk collectors are coming to get this in an hour and we will have a new couch here tomorrow. So today I'm really just spending time cleaning up around the area. The TV stand over here is kind of filled with junk, so I might go through this. We're actually replacing this. I'm looking to get something longer um, because it's just pretty empty over here in the corner. Once the Christmas tree goes away, it feels kind of empty. I'm probably gonna order some new curtains with you today or we'll go shopping and find some new curtains. I'm replacing all of these. I've had these for probably as long as I've had the couch, 10 or 13 years, but I'm kind of sad. This, this has been the most comfortable couch ever. And we have so many incredible memories, so many sleepovers, so many snuggles, so many dirty dog paws on this couch. What are we gonna do with the new couch, right? How are we gonna keep you clean on the new couch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to put lots of blankets down for Lumpy as we're getting used to the new couch. Um, let me show you the color of the new couch. I had a sample in here. This is it. These are the colors. So you can see the difference here. Um, so it's, it's, it's lighter, but I don't think it's going to be too prone to um, stains. Let's, let's hope. And then we got, oh, Lumpy, don't be fresh. I like the blues and the grays and it's really gonna lighten things up quite a bit. Lots of work. I know, handsome. Are you going to miss your couch? <laughs> couch is gone. I vacuumed. I did not buy curtains today. I'm hoping to get them tomorrow. And now heading into Boston, we have a dinner, a fundraiser. I need to um, drive into the city. Jay was in Florida and he flew in this morning. So I'm going to pick him up at his office and we're going to go to this dinner. And I meant to show you my 12 different outfit changes. <laughs> it wasn't that much. I'm, I'm being dramatic. This is what I landed on. I'll show you. I may have to go in a separate room because you can't really see up close. So this is, oh, this is just like a little top maroon. It's got like these little 1980s puff sleeves and this little sweater with ruffle detail. These are Spanx that I'm wearing. They're like the wide leg. I got them on Poshmark. They were brand new with tag, but I got them for like half off. So you can see a little bit of the maroon. It's kind of just a, um, yeah, it's not as formal like the holiday party, thank God, because I'm not feeling formal as I'm like moving furniture around my house. I don't know if I should wear this bag. My Dior, it has a little bit more, even though it's black. Um, got that on the real real secondhand with credit from clothing I sent in or this little clutch. I bought this in Italy. Um, I feel like that's a little showy. I, I really wish this didn't say Christian Dior on it as much as I love that. I guess I could wear it like that and then it's kind of cute, right? I feel like the pop of color is good with this. I should probably go for the little, little pop, right? And I just have high black heels that hurt my feet and I'm gonna need, um, I'm definitely gonna need some uh, flats for the car. Although these pants are so long that um, I like drag my, I, I can't wear these pants without heels. Oh, I should probably take some gum too from Angie. Does she have any left in here? I'm happy with this. I'm comfortable. It's like 50 degrees out today. What I'm happy about? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna bring this one. Boring. I know. Sorry, I'm chewing gum like an animal. Are you in Angie's room? <laughs> what do you want, belly rub? I know what you want. What you really, really want. No parties while I'm gone, okay? 
I swear that just the sound of me wearing shoes makes him sad when he sees me getting dressed up and he knows I'm leaving because I'm in sweatpants 90% of the time. I love you. Come on, let's go downstairs. He's, he's like, nah, I'm not moving. You gonna watch the house while mommy's gone? You like your blanket? I'm sorry that there's no couch for you to lay on while I'm gone. I'll be back soon, okay? And daddy will be with me. You'll be so happy. I love you. Alright, we made it into the city. We're going to the Omni Hotel for dinner. Alright, I'm sitting because I can't feel my feet, but this is an event for the Boys and Girls Club. And we're here. We're at table 20, hanging out. It's really beautiful. We're at the Omni Hotel. Good morning. We had such a great time at the Boys and Girls Club event. Really some amazing kids who they highlighted in last night's thing. It was, it was just fantastic, super inspiring. Anyways, today is couch day. Very excited. I'm all done crying from yesterday. I'm ready for the new couch. I think it's about time I take my Christmas cards down. Um, they're always the last to go because I love seeing everybody's pictures. All right, I want to clear out some of the junk in here. This, I mean, I, oh gosh, see, I don't even think I realized I had all these poly mailers. I just ordered some new ones. Um, this is crazy. What size are these? I think these are the big boys. A lot of these things could probably go in my office. It's actually where they probably should be. Let me take them out of here. These are just boxes for my camera. The current camera. Last week I featured some older cameras. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize we had all those. We don't need any of those DVDs. We don't even watch DVDs anymore. These are all just wires, dusty from when the kids had all their gaming platforms here. I think I might take this out and just put it up in Rocco's closet because we don't need any of this. Look at how dusty this is. <laughs> That's embarrassing just brought the PlayStation up to Rocco's room. I just literally took all of the wires out. I have no idea what he would want to keep, what I should sell. So Prancer, Disney, all these things. We have um, Strange Brew over here, some Nintendo DS's. Look at my old Dymo. I'm gonna keep dusting. And then I have to go meet my mom. So I'm in Home Goods and that would be pretty. It's really nice. I'm gonna go look over at window treatments. Here we go. Oh good, lots of white. That's encouraging. Mem's here. Hi mom. I think <laughs> um I don't know if I want those like grommety things. I don't think so. Okay. Because I think I'm going with a black rod eventually, so I don't really want the silver. I think I just want like like an ivory. Linen would be pretty too. Those are really pretty. Instead of two. I think I need um, 90 something in length. We measured like 94. Yeah. Not 84? No. And I need eight of them or 10. Well, this is 108 right here. There's 95 right there. All right, I found these linen. Oh no, they're polyester and linen, but I think they're really a nice sheer. I just thought I wanted a little bit more on my windows, but we'll see. The color is just good and the length is good and the price is good. So, and they have as many as I need. So we're gonna give this a try. I was gonna get a ruggable, but I don't, Lumpy doesn't have the accidents that Lulu had. That's pretty. I like some of the blues and grays. This one has some gold in it. I'm thinking I might want Jay with me to get this. The one we have now actually matches really well. It's just dirty. Yeah, I feel like a pattern would be nice exactly. too because it's yeah. kind of a, um, it's a plain. plain space now. What was the first one I looked at? Oh, this one. Yeah, this one's really pretty. And that price is good too. 
We also have just two very small pictures of the kids on the wall and I feel like a larger vertical would anchor that space a little bit better. Oh, I love these prints, but they're too small. I'd like it in one. I think the colors in this would work, but I'm not crazy about birds. Hmm. Let's see the new couch. Here it is. Oh my gosh, it's, I just feel so at peace. It's just so beautiful. It's dark enough that I don't think the stains will be bad. I'm praying. Uh, my flowers are upside down over here. I gotta flip this. This was just a blanket that we're keeping on here. Lumpy really hasn't been on the couch much at all. Um, I've kept him on a leash all day and I'm just trying to teach him to go on his blanket right here. I dusted in here and I took some photos from oh. the large bookcase over there, which we're gonna paint that like a charcoal gray when we do over the kitchen and paint the island the same color. So I'm just trying to declutter over there a little bit. I moved some things around, put the video games in Rocco's room, pulled some pictures down over here. Good boy on your blanket, Lumpy. You're being such a good boy. We ended up with all this space in back of the couch. Oh, now you're not being a good boy, are you? And then you can walk down here. So we have all this space before we only had about a foot. So it's kind of nice to have all this space. Oh boy, I gotta check him, look at him. Does everything smell really good? These are all new smells to him. Are you gonna make a mess? Yeah. You'll be a good boy on the blankets. <laughs> I don't know if you all remember, we used to have a chair here uh, that the junk people took yesterday. This is the other side table that matches that one over there. I may put this back, but maybe not. And this is all the stuff I'm donating. Some of this is stuff I've just been collecting over the week, an old wine rack and all the old pillows. That's such a good boy. All right, so I had this mat that was in Lumpy's pen. He's not really using his pen anymore. And it's the exact color of the couch. And if you look from over here, it just really works. So between having a blanket on the couch and this for him, I'm really hoping um, that he rests on that. What a good boy. Are you on your blanket? Another really cool feature about this is that we have an ottoman that has storage. So this is great for us because we can just put so many blankets in here. Because if you remember, my old couch used to get really cluttered with um, blankets on top. So it's so nice. Where's your blanket, Lumpy? So these are the old curtains over here and the shears. I don't know about you guys, but this just feels so airy to me. I feel like it's like night and day. I love it, except for the fact that, you know, they're not blackout. I'm gonna see how I enjoy that. They were only $30 for two panels. So if I feel like I need more privacy, I would honestly just double up. Look at it. It's so much better in my opinion. It's just so soft and airy. What do you think, Lumpy? All right, gang, this is the before with these curtains. I opened one so you could see it, closed this one, and that's what it looks like. Honestly, the color at night blends with the wall. I mean, it's just so sheer. It just makes it so peaceful. So I'm gonna swap these out. Before I left, I also wanted to say that I am going to wash these, uh, which are 
like lattice patterned curtains. They're embroidered. This is like a slate-ish gray blue. They're really nice. They have the weights at the bottom. They're fully lined. They're 96 inches. Did not get them at West Elm. I got them at a specialty curtain shop in town. These are West Elm pre-owned, $45 for the pair. Maybe we can go by that comp, in which case I have one, two, three, four pairs. So maybe 180 I'll make um, if I sold them for like $49 a pair. These look like um, a best offer was accepted. Um, I need to get more detail. I can't remember the name of the shop, but these, these were pricey. And I don't know what I'll get for them. They're not new. Could be something like this, $36 for two. But anyways, I'm hoping to make over $100 on selling these. Even if I made $130, that would pay for my new ones, and then I would break even. But I'm definitely planning on selling these. I'm going to wash them, and we'll list them next week if anybody's interested. We are going to do a final walkthrough. They only had eight of the panels, so I have these original white ones here, but I do plan on replacing them because I'm in love with these shears. I was a little worried that we were gonna see too much through. We'll see how it looks in the day. But worst case scenario, I can always add an extra panel to these, but I just, it just flows. It just feels so peaceful here. Those were only $15 a panel. So the brand was Lauren. I got them at Home Goods, and they are 96 inches. Um, and yeah, they were $29 for the two panels, so I spent $120 basically. Here is the couch. I'm so happy with this little mat for Lumpy because it just will keep him off the couch at times. These are the pillows that we had made. We were able to pick out two patterns. I uh, will see how white those stay. Again, the shears over here. Um, we do have a lot of space back here, which is really nice. We can walk through. This couch is actually only 10 inches shorter in length over here. The other couch was about four or five inches deeper as well. So it feels a lot smaller, but it really isn't. It just has a smaller footprint. The arms aren't so big. It's a little lower to the ground, which is great because this guy can't sneak underneath. That was part of the problem. He used to go under the couch all the time. Um, can I show everybody inside? You already saw. This is a storage um, ottoman, so we have stuff in here. I think I would like to replace those pictures there with like one big piece of artwork. Now that everything is so neutral, I feel like it needs something over there to pop. Um, and I could, could actually maybe do like some matching pictures, one on each side. That might be really nice. And I can move this image um, maybe to a different wall. This is a good friend of mine who did my kids' senior portraits. This is a winter um, picture of the apple orchards here in our town. So that's all for tonight. I keep trying to get him to go on his blanket, but he's still enjoying. <laughs> You're doing a nice sit, Lumpy. You're a good boy. Do you like the new sofa? I will see you all in the next video, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. This was a really fun week.